All right, fans, so here's the deal. Uh, we have some water damage over here, so everything's kind of pushed over to the corner right now, but I'm gonna show you this at Games Legend anyway. Forgive the mess around it. But this is a beautiful looking machine. Uh, it offers tons of opportunity to play all different kinds of games on it. So let me go ahead and power it up for you. Uh, because of the mess, we haven't used it that much recently. Um, but it's got a nice lit up marquee up front. I had uh, SRAM Retro Arcade added with some of our favorite characters here on the front end of it. So that's kind of what it looks like up front. Uh, but as the game powers up, I should be able to show you all the things that we can do with this game. Okay, when you open it up, it automatically opens up to the games that are available. And as you can see, it's got 3D Tic-Tac-Toe, 64 Street Fighter, Adventure. It's got some of the old Atari games on here. You name it, there's the original Adventure. Uh, and if I skip, um, oops, I just gotta hit that button. And I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm just moving this back and forth. I go down, over, and then I go here. Now if I hit C, it automatically pops over to the next set of games. There are, there's Asteroids, and the 2600 version, and the arcade version, and there's even Asteroids Deluxe. Uh, Astro Fantasia, if I move forward, it's got baseball, basketball, spirit, football. It's got that original football game, which is really cool. I don't know if you've ever played this in the thing, but let me go ahead and set that up and show you. So I'm selecting that game. Oh, this is the Atari version, my bad. So let me get out of it. I'm just gonna hit that. I'm gonna go down to quick game. And, um, oh, I did the wrong one. This is the one I wanted to do. The Arcade Atari Football. All right. Let's see if you guys remember this game from the old days. Remember that? You set it up and it plays beautifully. It's got the big screen all the way across. You can play just like we used to back when we were kids. All right, let's jump out of this one. Go down to quick game. You even have places where you can like save slots. So you can save like where you are in the game. You can change the way the buttons are mapped. So you can use different buttons. You can use the trap ball spinner. You can change their, um, how quickly they work. Uh, the display mode can be changed, um, all that kind of stuff. So let's quit this game. Let's keep going through here. So it's, you know, it's got some of your basics. Uh, here's like that original Atari basketball. And it goes on through a big run. There's even the Atari bowling down here, but there's a lot of arcade versions like Burger Time. You've got the ColecoVision Burger Time, you've got the arcade Burger Time, and you've got the 2600 Burger Time. Uh, it's got the original Breakout from the Atari 2600, um, Centipede, the arcade and the 2600 version, um, the original Championship Soccer from 2600, yeah, checkers on down. Circus Atari. I don't know if anybody remembers Circus Atari. That was a pretty cool game when we were on the 2600. Uh, one of my favorite games to play is Crystal Castles. This is all the loaded games. Crystal Castles is an excellent game, and it works really well with the... Uh, um, let me go ahead and show you. It's got the ball tracker. So, uh, I did the wrong one again. I don't know why, I'm because I'm trying to videotape at the same time game. That was Creed Busters. Okay, here's Crystal Castles. And we've got Game On, and the sound is excellent. You got a volume control for the sound. Make it as loud as you want. And then you got the ball controller. It makes it move any way you want. Uh, let me play this once, see what happens. Complete control. You go back around here and you can do the, the old secret jumps. The 
they used to have, and now you can jump ahead into the game, just like the original game did. Get that honey pot. Uh -uh, I'm gonna be in trouble here if I don't get up there. It's a pretty cool game. All right, let's get back out of that. Quick game. Let's see what else they have on the original install games. Um, uh, nothing too special on this page. There's a Dodge'em, which is a pretty popular game back in the day. Uh, so they've got Street Hoops. Exeron is a pretty well-known game. I don't really play it though. It's ice hockey. Oh, do you remember the original fire truck that used to play in the thing? It's a little bit different because you don't have the guy sitting behind you driving the back. Uh, it comes with Fix-It Felix, the actual game from the movie. Um, the original 2600 Atari football. Um, a bunch more. There's 350 games, so I could be doing this forever, just showing you the options and games that they have here. Oh, I guess this is a pretty pretty well-known game, Joe Mack Returns. Um, uh, Lock and Chase was a, was a pretty popular game. It was the arcade version of it. Um, Maze Craze was one of my old favorite games on 2600. It's got the original arcade missile command game, uh, Millipede. So as you can see, there's just a ton of games that come built already into this thing, 350 overall. Um, it's even got a bunch of the uh, uh, Tetris options. Oh, here's one of my old, let's see, do they have it? Yeah, they have it, but I can't find out where it is. Um, space War. Baseball. Super Breakout. The 2600 Super Breakout and the arcade version of Super Breakout. Tennis Doubles. I mean, there's so many of these games I haven't even tried yet. They've got all the Star Wars collection included. Tempest. Tempest is a great arcade game. I still play Tempest here quite a bit. And then they've got the Tetrises and the Tetris Plus. Um, Jungle Book, Lion King, uh, Tron. Now you can play Tron. It's a little bit different because you don't have the controller stick, but people actually sell where you can buy and play, replace your second stick here with the actual Tron controller and do it all just like you did with the game. Uh, but Lainey and I actually play as two people. I control this and the button and then she controls, um, she controls the movement. Um, but it's still fun. Um, anything else that's getting boring, I'm sure. Video Pinball, Zaxxon, it has uh, the original Zaxxon game. And then Yars Revenge, um, 2600 version. Anyway, so that's what comes with it. Now, I have gone out of my way and, and paid for and purchased a couple of sticks here. Uh, this is the main stick that I paid for that has all of the other games that I wanted to have on it. And what you do here is you just click up to games. You just go over to settings, BYOG, and that adds your add-on games. Go down to here, click on that. I go to Ready Player One, which is the way it's set up. And look at all the games I've added. 1942, Bubbles, uh, Arcanal, Defender, Berserk, Dig Dug, Bomber Chan, Bomberman, I'm sorry, Bubble Bobble, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr. Double Dragon, Frogger, Gauntlet, Joust, Galaga, Galaga 88, Gaunt, another version of Gauntlet. They were both so cool. I, I loved the, the screen covers for each of them. I couldn't decide which one to get. Moon Patrol, Marble Madness, uh, Mr. Do, Mrs. Pac-Man, Popeye, uh, Puyan, Outrun, Qbert, uh, the original Pac-Man. And if you look, like, let's, let's go ahead and click on the original Pac-Man. And you'll see it looks exactly like the original game. It looks and plays just like it. 
So here's what it looks like. If you look at the whole screen. And so it's got the little bezel on the sides and then here's what it looks like. Let me turn it on. Start one. One player start. It's exactly just like the old. Now one thing I did do when I bought this game is I went and changed the um, gates to an octagonal eight-way gate, which makes the game play a little bit more like the original. Uh, it doesn't take much to do that. It doesn't cost anything. And while I was doing that, I also changed the springs in here to make it a little springier. Um, but that gives it more of the arcade feel. Um, that's one thing that I would recommend doing if you buy this game. And I'm done. Okay. Um, menu. Click out of this game. Um, but let's see, what else does it have? So it's got the Pac-Man, it's got Phoenix, uh, Space Invaders, the original, Smash TV, which is actually a pretty cool game I didn't know about, but the guy who made this for me turned me on to it. Spy Hunter, Zaxxon, Super Cobra, Tapper, Time Pilot, and Wonder Boy. So these are all the additional games that I had added to the machine. And uh, yeah, I love playing them all. There's a lot of really good stuff on this machine. It looks pretty cool. It's got all the controllers you need. You can add different games. There's different ways to add more. But that's what I wanted out of it. Uh, it doesn't take up too much space in your house. As you can see, not anywhere near as much space as my uh, foosball table does or my uh, hockey dome. I don't know if you remember this game from, from uh, Slammers. But I had to go out and get one of these. This was awesome. All right, dude. I hope you enjoy. I uh, hope you get one. They're really a lot of fun. Take care. Peace.